Like Kinkney Mini Fills by A Hummingbird. Chapter 14. Veiled Warning. Apollo Kristoff. Prompt. Alternate take on 4-4 where Fair ends up dying of a trochanine poisoning and Apollo confronts Kristoff about the murders. Characters are Apollo and Kristoff. Obviously. Whew, I'm going to drop the German accent for Kristoff because I cannot switch as fast as I thought I could. Or maybe I won't. Apollo looks ahead as he follows a security guard through the prison hallways towards Solitary Cell 13. Mr. Gavin does not look at all surprised to see him when they reach the cell. In fact, the imprisoned man is dressed as if he were back in his law office, and with the bookcase taking up the wall, it feels like that's where they are. There is no trace of Mr. Gavin's breakdown. Apollo Justice here to see ya, the prison guard announces. Justice, Mr. Gavin walks up to the cell bars to meet them. He sends the prison guard away with a slight tilt of his head, leaving Apollo alone with him. Apollo feels as though he is locked in the beast's den. He reminds himself why he is there, while he squares his shoulders and crosses his arms. Mr. Gavin, he replies evenly. Christoph stares at him with a fragment of suspicion flickering in his eyes. Did I send you here? Apollo grips his arms at the slight that he is unable to make a decision without one of them treating him like a chess piece in their ongoing battle. He ignores the question. This is about Vera Misham. He moves his head quickly to see Mr. Gavin's hand as it twitches. When he considers looking at the older man's expression, he is given a glare and a thin smirk. She fooled everyone into allowing her to carry the poison with her outside of the crime scene. How many other people could have been exposed to it? I imagine she would have been in one of those gel cells if he had not badgered her during the cross-examination. Apollo cringes. Vera's on the witness stand and begins to bite one of her nails as he questions her. She is visibly distressed, clutching a sketchpad close to herself, and looks at the strangers in the room with wild panic. But he continues the cross-examination. Mr. Gavin continues his mock concern. It's a poor girl. She must have been already terrified, what with being taken out of her home. You were just the push she needed for the poison to hit its mark. His eyes widen when Vera chokes on her heart and falls to the floor. She did not give a name, but her last words were close enough. The devil. Mr. Gavin is looking down at him. How does it feel, Justice, to be the cause of someone's death? The poison- Who put it there? Apollo interrupts with his hands balled into fists as he shakes with anger. He feels the other man's shadow weighing down on him. Mr. Gavin replies once the last echoes of the accusation fade. The jury believes the girl possessed the poison she used on her father through her own means. They were wrong! Vera had no motive! She was your target! The jury thought otherwise, and their decision is final. Apollo shakes his head with some of his anger leaving him. She didn't- He could not make him say, say the word kill. He knows that Vera's innocent, he just couldn't prove it. Do you regret lying on the common folk in the courtroom for their decision? He did not accept the verdict, but he had to admit to himself that the true culprit would have been accused on circumstantial evidence. What he had during the trial was not enough. Evidence is everything, Apollo answers bitterly with the feeling of defeat taking over him. It always went back to that. So you do understand. The trial that put me here in the first place is going to be reevaluated. Mr. Gavin frowns and readjusts his glasses. You don't seem happy to hear that justice. Apollo crosses his arms and speaks the guarded tone. This is the first time I hear of this. So the news has not yet travelled. Or you don't believe me. I was the defending attorney for that trial and I was not told about it. Wright had me brought into the courtroom accused of a murder in his experiment of a trial. This going with how he was a suspect in Smith's murder and his friendship with the church prosecutor? There are rumours that I have been used as a scapegoat. <laughs> There's a hint of amusement as he continues. All of this after I voted in Wright's favour before he lost his badge. If nothing is done, the public's belief in the court system will plummet even further. Apollo looks across the cell bars and finds himself unable to bite down his sarcasm. Lower than it already is? Mr. Gavin grins at him. Wright's use of forged evidence seems to be contagious. He holds back a swear and exhales sharply as everything from the first trial rushes to the front of his mind. It was used by both Mr. Gavin and Mr. Wright to knock the other down in their continuing fight. Why couldn't he escape their game? Why would they consider him a chess piece to possess, a piece to remove, to take, and to place around the chessboard when the other had their head turned? For how long did they think of him as someone to wield against the other? He wonders how many people they dragged down through all the years. 
Apollo pushes the thoughts away. He had something he needed to focus on now. The only one who kept on mentioning Mr. Wright was Christoph Gavin. Did Wright send you here? He has spotted the loose thread in Mr. Gavin. Apollo knows it is in his nature now to pull and to ignore his own ideas of what he was about to unravel. How much more of the monster in front of him will cover? You don't want me to work for Wright. He knows he hit the mark on a nerf when Mr. Gavin looks down at him with a sneer. You would know by now how easy it is for someone to unknowingly get a trochanine into their system. A chill goes through Apollo's spine. Only 0.002 milligrams is necessary with 15 minutes for its effects to show. According to research, the survival rate is slim to none. His mind goes completely blank from panic and he chokes on his own breath. I still have a lot of friends on the outside, Mr. Gavin says, and motions sword his bookcase. They hear a door at the end of the hallway open, telling them that the visit has come to a close. Justice, do be careful. Mr. Gavin fakes the tone of his concern in his voice perfectly, and months ago, Apollo would have believed it. Those who associate themselves with right often find themselves in grave misfortune, to put it lightly. Ooh, how deliciously evil Kristoff is.